friends and we were good day this is the novel written by john cleland the name of this novel is fanny hill or the memoirs of a woman of pleasure this novel friends i got this novel after a very hard efforts though in our society this novel uh, is considered as an obscene but though it is a part of an english literature so i got this novel after a very hard efforts and today i am going to share with you this novel uh, fanny hill or the memoirs of a woman of pleasure by john cleland this is this novel is written in 1748 by john cleland and uh, john cleland uh, he born in 1710 and he died in uh, 1789 the author play writer journalist and translator so he is well uh famous for this novel for about this novel fanny hill written in 1748 uh fanny hill or this the memoir of a woman of pleasure is an erotic novel by john cleland uh an 18th century british author known for his erotisms the novel is was originally published in installment in 1748 and 1749 and cleland was arrested in 1749 for obscene content in fanny hill fanny hill is one of the most banned books in the history of english language largely due to its pornographic nature though the novel does uh, uh, not use any profanity or explicit term for sexual organs or act in many ways fanny hill uh, is a response to more conventional conduct novel in which exposure to vis or sexuality is used as a means to entice reader while maintaining an overarching sense of morality the novel was published uh, again in 1963 in england and the united states leading to temporary bans on the book in both countries so though the original work did not contain illustration many subsequent printing have included so Mm, uh the fanny hill explore the theme in this novel we have the theme of critic of societal hypocrisy regarding sexuality women's uh, economic dependence on man and the tension between desire and morality so uh, let me tell you about this novel the novel is framed as two letters from fanny to an acquaintance in which she described her youth as a sex worker many fanny grew up in a liverpool where her parents die she is accompanied to london by ishtar davis a family friend in london ishtar abandons fanny fanny meets mrs brown in an uh employment office and mrs brown offers her uh a role as her assistant fanny as a pretending to mrs brown's home the other woman in the house make it clear that mrs brown operates a brothel phoby one of the women in house arouses fanny with sex acts encouraging her to watch the other woman having sex as well but Uh, Mrs Brown makes a deal with a man named Mr uh, Croft for Fanny's virginity but Fanny succeed in fending off Mr Croft's attempt to have sex with her one night Fanny meets Charles in the garden of Mrs Brown's home and the two fall in love Charles tells Fanny to run away from Mrs Brown and move in with him to which Fanny agrees. Fanny becomes Charles's lover and the two have sex. Fanny notes the pain and pleasure of losing her virginity. 
she becomes even more enamored with Charles, bringing a lawyer to Mrs. Brown. Charles resolves any obligation Fanny led to Mrs. Brown. Charles and Fanny move into the home of Mrs. Jones, who extorts the couple for additional money at any opportunity. Charles and Fanny live happily together for 11 months, at which Fanny discovers she is pregnant. Charles is dependent on his grandmother for money, and his father, jealous of Charles' wealth, sends him to the South Sea. Fanny, upon discovering Charles' disappearance, loses her pregnancy. Mrs. Jones takes advantages of Fanny's vulnerability and signs a contract with Mr. H to keep Fanny as a lover and pay Fanny's bills. Fanny, saddened by Charles' disappearance, moves into an apartment rented by Mr. H and becomes his lover. After seeing Mr. H have sex with one of the mats, Fanny decides to have sex with Mr. H's messenger, Will, and the two have an affair for some time. When Mr. H discovers the affair, he expels Will and Fanny, agreeing to let Fanny keep all her gift and some extra money when she reveals that she saw uh, Mr. H have sex with the man. Fanny finds Mrs. Cole, who operates a brothel, and becomes a new member of Mrs. Cole's home. At Mrs. Cole's, Fanny meets Louisa, Emily, and Harriet, who are all sex workers around Fanny's age. Louisa tells Fanny that she has always been sexually active, recounting how she lost her virginity at 13. Uh, Emily's story is similar to Fanny's. Uh, she left home as a teenager, meeting a man on the road with whom she maintained a sexual relation for a while. Harriet Tower was sexually assaulted by a man with whom she had a brief affair. After each of these instances, the one woman explained that they began working as sex workers. In Mrs. Cole's home, as an initiation to Mrs. Cole's home, she invites four men to the house, and Fanny, uh, Louisa, Emily, and Harriet take turns having sex with their partner in front of each other. Fanny works exclusively with one of the partner for a while, but he leaves her for another woman in Ireland. While Harriet leaves Mrs. Cole's home to live with her own partner, Emily leaves sh shortly after to move back in with her parents. Mrs. Cole designed a scheme to sell Fanny's uh, pretend virginity, virginity to Mr. Norwood, who then keeps Fanny for uh, some months before dying in Bath on vacation. On one occasion, Fanny engaged in bondage play with Mr. Burwell, though she comments that she is not interested in repeating the experience. Fanny's recollection includes spying on two gay men having sex, which finds offensive. On another occasion, Fanny and Louisa conspired to sexually assault a flower salesman with an intellectual disability, which they find amusing. After Louisa leaves Mrs. Cole's home for a man, Mrs. Cole decides to retire and move to the country. Fanny has 800 pounds to her name, and she resolves to visit her hometown. And on the way, Fanny meets an older, wealthy man, and she becomes his lover until his death shortly after, which time Fanny inherits his fortune. With her wealth, Fanny plans to find Charles. She meets him by chance at an inn. The two are still in love, and they decide to get married, ending Fanny's story with a lesson on finding pleasure in virtue. So this is the story of this novel, Fanny Hill, or the Memories of the Woman of Pleasure. And uh, let us see the theme of this novel. 
The theme this critic of societal hypocrisy regarding sexuality, Fanny Hill depicts the hypocrisy of 18th century society regarding sexuality. Part of what Cleland criticized in the novel is the success of traditional conduct. Novels like Pamela by Samuel Richardson, which are focused on erotic themes and scenes but which mask themselves as a moral lesson against which Fanny Hill is deliberately pornographic and its success selling widely, uh, widely in multiple editions as a pirate work shows society's fascination with an enjoyment of sexuality in art. Furthermore, the novel repeated depicts men exploring sexuality with sex worker and then returning to their social position without stigma. While women in sex work are forced to remain out of the public eye, overall the novel shows how society's outward push for modesty and repression of sexuality is hypocritical, concealing the, uh, concealing the continuity continuing interest in the desire for exploration of sex and lust. Those who fulfill man's sexual interests, particularly vulnerable people and sex worker, absorb the shame and stigma that disoval of sexual create. sexuality creates. A key mem uh, example of hypocrisy within the novel is Mr. H, who is wealthy and socially successful despite keeping Fanny as his mistress for an extended period. Like Charles before him, Mr. H experienced no adverse social uh, consequences for being known to engage in extramarital sex or engage with sex worker. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the story of this novel, Fanny Hill or the Memoirs of the World. Woman of Pleasure by John Cleland. I hope you will enjoy this novel. Thank you very much.